Today I will share how to make a box that fits exactly your specific soap bar or anything you want to create a box for actually. This is one example of a box that I already created so you can see and I will show you how to create one. The star of the show today is this tool called the Envelope Punch Board by We Are Memory Keepers that can also make boxes and not only envelopes. There is a punch here on top and a score line. Over here are the measurements in inches and centimeters. We need to determine the measurements that we need with a little calculator created specifically for this tool. First of all, we need to measure out our soap bar by measuring the length, height and width. If you are using the metric system like I do, you would measure it out in centimeters, otherwise you will use the inches. I recommend leaving a couple of millimeters so that your soap box has a little room and in case you want to add a business card or similar. So let's see how we determine the exact measurements for your customized soap box. There is an app you can download for $1 specifically for the envelope punch board. In that app you can calculate in both units, centimeters and inches. Choose the options of the box next to the little envelope icon at the bottom of the app and then fill in the measurements for length, width and height and then you will get a result showing three measurements on the bottom of your page. The first one is your paper size. The second and the third one indicate where you need to make your first two punches. Another possibility is to use the link that I left down in the description to determine the measurements for your soap box. Fill in the length and the width and the height and then you get the three measurements over there as well. If we take a closer look at the punch board, we see that it comes with a bone folder, the punch and the score line, but also this little nose over here that is an important guide in this project. Again, here are the markings for inches and here the ones for centimeters. Okay, so first of all, we need to cut down the paper to size determined by the calculator. This applies for both width and length of the paper. So we will have a square paper. In my case, it is 15.9 centimeters. I use the trim and scoreboard that comes from We Are Memory Keepers as well. It has markings for length and it's very easy to use. I will, of course, leave all the links down in the description for you to check out if you're interested. Now, here is the paper and it's ready to go. I don't need the trim board anymore at the moment, so I will just put it aside. Now we take our envelope punch board. I add my paper and position it all the way against the border, like so, and slide it over to exactly 6.2 centimeters. Then I'm going to add our first punch. My punch and then I score with my bone folder. This is our first punch line. We bring it over now to 9.8 centimeters and we give it another punch and a score. I hope you can see the diagonal grooves that we are going to be using as a guide for the next three sides of the paper. Having these first two lines, we can just turn around the paper and use the score line to exactly align it to this little nose here. You give it a punch and you score. You slide it over to the next score line, align it to the nose, you punch and you score. Now you turn over the page again and you repeat the process. You align the score line with the nose, you punch, you score and you do the same until you have all four sides punched and grooved the same way. Now you can see the score pattern on the paper indicating where the box will be folded. 
Now with the reverse punch on the back of the punch board, I'm gonna go ahead and round all the corners. This just gives it a little extra if you wish to. We can now put the punch board aside and we're gonna go ahead and fold along all these cord lines. I'm using my bone folder because I think it's practical and easy. And go ahead and just fold along all the grooves. Now I need to cut some slits in the corner so I can sample the box properly. I will need some adhesive for that of course. I love this glue mouse type of adhesive but you can use another one if you prefer or just if you have another one at hand. And now you will see the box coming together and looking so good. I think a handmade packing makes a handmade product even more special, don't you think? And there are many possibilities of papers that you can use, design paper or even natural craft paper and then add a stamp on top or something like this. Let's test if the soap fits in now. Looking great. I will add some adhesive to the front so I can close the box. And of course if you want to decorate it, like for example by adding a label or like I did here, another paper that I punched and then I will add this little happy birthday label to it. I think this kind of packing here makes a special gift. This is another possibility using a peg to hold the box together. And by the way, this is the punch that I use to make these scalloped circles here. I just use some design papers from the dollar store. In this example, I used a sticker. You can also create your own stickers, of course. And I will show you one more time with this particular example here. Again, we cut our paper to size. We move the paper to the first score indication, punch and score. Move it to the next one and punch and score again and then repeat it for all four sides. The nice thing is that with this simple method you can use different types of papers to create your own handmade boxes giving your handmade soap even a more additional personal touch. Also, it is a very cost-effective way, not to mention eco-friendly. These are the stickers that I used for the box over here, by the way. I got it off of Amazon, link down below as well. Let's add this cute peg for a variation. Cool. And this method here works for all soap sizes. So let's take, for example, this soap here, completely different measurements. As you can see here, this one is much thicker. We are again measuring out the length width and always keep in mind to add a couple of millimeters for a little extra room. So I convert the measurements in my app again. And this is what I get. So I repeat the same procedure with the new measurements. Very easy and very fun to make. I have another video on my channel showing how to use another tool to wrap soap with paper. I will leave it down in the description for you to check out as well.
Here are just a few examples of how you can use the envelope punch board for a super cool and personalized packaging. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, you can check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye!